Hey sports fans, welcome to this week's edition of Tahoe Sports Line. We've got our resident experts in the house, Kristen Wood. That's right. And newcomer <laughs> to the scene, Crystal Tooney. Tooney, Crystal, Crystal Tooney. Tooney. Crystal, rumor has it, we'll be seeing much more of you here at the network here in the very near future. Yeah, well, I think that's a pretty accurate rumor. <laughs> All right. Kristen, since you're the expert this week, who are the games that you have on tap for us to talk about? So we're going to talk about the Bolton Celtics versus New York Knicks and the San Antonio Spurs versus the Memphis Grizzlies. And then we're also going to go over our final four picks for the NCAA tournament. All right, let's get to it on the first game, Knicks versus the Celtics. Oh, I'm going to take the Knicks. I mean, the Knicks are adding a six-game winning streak. I don't see any reason why they can't just beat Boston, who's old and beat up right now. I agree. I'm going to go with the Knicks. Also, they actually just beat Boston. Like, I think they have two games within a week of each other. And, yeah, KG's out, Ray John Rondo. They're, Boston's really beat up, and the Knicks are on fire. Okay, so where's the game being held? In New York. Madison Square Garden. Oh, you hosed me. That's why I took the Celtics. I thought the Celtics were playing at home. That's okay, because the Knicks beat the Celtics at home, too. Bad research <laughs> on my end. Hey, but you know what? Every time people count out the Boston Celtics due to age, what do they do? They roll off a win streak. So I'll take the Celtics. Gave a heat for run run for their money just a couple weeks ago. Uh, Jeff Green, lights out. I'll take the Celtics on this one. All right, next game, Crystal. Next game, we've got the Spurs and Grizzlies. I think I'm going to go with Memphis on this one. You know, they have something to play for. The Spurs are sitting, com well, not comfortably at the top, but they don't have quite as much on the line as the Grizzlies, so I'm going to go with the Grizzlies. I'm going to go against you and take the Spurs. Uh, they, their coach just said that this final push of their schedule is like final exams for the playoffs, and I totally agree. They are red hot right now from the three-point line, putting up big numbers all their starting five against the Nuggets scored in double digits. So they're looking pretty good to me. I think the Spurs have a tough schedule here. I think the Spurs is probably a better team. Spurs are at home on fire. I think they've got four losses on the entire year. But they play the Miami Heat at home the day before this game. So I'm going to go out of limb. Spurs are going to be, you know, all amped up for that, for that Heat game. Mm -hmm. And then they travel and go on their own where they're just better than a 500 team. I'll take the Grizzlies on this one. All right. So now let's take a look at our final four picks. Crystal, you first. All right, well, I have to say, I think the number one overall seed Louisville will definitely make the final four. I don't see any reason why they can't. They seem to be playing very well. Peyton Siva, of course, one of the premier guards in the country is leading that team. And he's, I mean, guard play, as you know, gets teams to championships in March Madness. So I like to see Louisville, I would like Wichita State to come out of the West. I, you know, they just knocked off Gonzaga. And why not? If they've already knocked off the number one team, why can't they make the final four? So I've got Louisville, Wichita State, Kansas, and Syracuse. Weird. I wonder why you picked Syracuse. <laughs> I don't know. We'll I don't figure. know. Alumni, huh? So I lead orange, you could say. <laughs> so I'm also taking Louisville. I'm also I'm taking Ohio because I think it will be not the prettiest game against Arizona, not the easiest game, but I'm taking Ohio. And then my final two, Florida and Indiana. My final four bracket, still in pretty good shape. The only one I'm going to add to that, aside from Louisville, Kansas, and Indiana, is Ohio State, and that's my final four. All right. The Big Ten getting a lot of recognition this year. Okay, so log okay. on to our Facebook page. It's free to enter. You've got the two games to pick from to bet against the experts, and you also have the final four picks. That'll do it for this week's edition, Tahoe Sportsline.